So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have another topper, Dr. Anushri, and we are interviewing her. And uh, this whole conversation or this whole video will be very candid. Okay, I'll be asking, I'll be asking her the questions which are there in your mind, because through the Q and A sessions on Instagram, I can you know uh, understand and uh, I can grasp the uh, ideas or the queries or questions which are there in anyone who is appearing for NEET MDS and uh, so I'll be asking questions accordingly to her so I hope that you'll stay tuned with us till the end of this video before starting this I would like to introduce Dr. Anushri so she's from Kerala Kannur district and uh, she's graduated from uh, Kannur Dental College and in this year's NEET MDS 2024, she has achieved rank 54 with the score of 676, which is amazing, superb. Many congratulations, Dr. Anushri. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> so how does it feel? Yes, it's very nice. Uh, I have something to tell, ma'am. Uh, actually, uh, during the initial days of my preparation, uh, I think it's in during it, uh, last days of my internship, uh, 2022, right. November or something, uh, I started watching your channel, Dento Women in YouTube. Uh, and throughout my preparation, whenever I feel low or demotivated, uh, I used to go back to your videos, uh, how to prepare for meet MBS, strategies of meet MBS, and then uh, your toppers talk everything that keep wow. that motivating. <laughs> that, uh, so we, we so are adding... Today, yes, yes, today when continue. I'm talking with you, uh, I, I feel very special actually. <laughs> so see this video will be added to that list of videos which someone else will be watching to motivate themselves right and I, I'm sure that from the students who are watching this video please dream this that one day you will come on Dento Woman and I'll be interviewing you so keep that spirit yes. in mind and then prepare for NEET MDS right yes 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 thank you so much for sharing this so let's start, yes, like, uh, I, I want to ask you that, uh, how was your experience of NEET MDS 2024? What is your analysis? Like, I heard from students that, uh, you know, it was a bit tricky, more of clinical based, and it was a bit lengthy, especially part B. So uh, what is your analysis? How, how do you feel that? How was the exam? The distribution was yes. equal of the easy, moderate and difficult questions? Or how was it? Like, uh, just uh, share your experience with us. Uh, okay, this time I also felt like uh, questions are more conceptual based actually. Uh, and part B, clinical part was a little uh, bit tricky. Uh, the right. questions were not uh, so direct uh, and the options were uh, something lengthy. Time management was very crucial for this paper. Uh, when it comes to part A, that's basics, most of the questions were direct. Uh, but right. uh, part B, clinical parts uh, was a little bit tricky actually. And okay. uh, time management was very crucial. Right, right, right. So were there any repeat questions which were there in previous yeah. NEET MDS questions? No, repeats were very less, maybe uh, 10 or something. A very less number of repeats, actually. And uh, comparing right. to 2023 paper, uh, in 2023, there were uh, medical questions, very high, some high five medical questions. Nothing like that was asked this time. Everything was something we heard or read somewhere, but asked right. in a tricky way, actually. Right, right. So if someone has uh, have their basics very strong, the foundation is very strong and clear, then they can... Uh, consider this exam as moderate but definitely not easy yes yes right uh, if you have okay. the concept we can somehow arrive at the answer right 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 okay so now tell us about your preparation phase like uh, uh, this was your first attempt or it was your second attempt second attempt ma'am uh, actually I completed my internship in 2022 October then I right. worked in a clinic for four months uh, right. and I wrote my 2023 NEET in 2023 NEET in March, uh, in March actually uh, okay. So uh, without any much preparation, uh, and so that time, what uh, was I got an what was six, your score? Six thousand five hundred ninety-two, three hundred something was my score actually that time. Wow! Then, uh, From six thousand five hundred, amazing, amazing. Uh, after okay. that, I decided to uh, drop a year for the MBS preparation. Uh, then I went right. to uh, Series Damgiri Institute. Uh, right. Then we had a ten to eleven months of intense preparation there. Uh, and right. wrote my uh, 2024 meet and days in this March. And this time I secured 54th rank. Right. Amazing. Amazing. So in those uh, 10 to 11 months, like what was your schedule from morning to evening, if we talk about, then how many hours you used to read and how how uh, was your strategy to, uh, you know, cover the syllabus and finish your revisions and everything? Tell us everything about that. Yes. Uh, actually, first two to three months, uh, it was like uh, I was falling into a habit of reading every day. 
uh, it was about eight to nine hours per day only. But uh, we need to fall into a habit of reading every morning. Actually, we are waking up and we should uh, read continuously. The consistency should be maintained. So first two to three months, uh, I uh, followed to not break the consistency to follow a habit of reading the subject. Then right. uh, in CDS Institute, we have um, a monthly exams. Initially, we have monthly exam. Then uh, when it comes to June, July, we have test series. Test series, uh, according to the test series, I made my timetable also uh, and started studying. Then uh, when it comes to November, uh, I gave my first initiate exam in November. Uh, but, but I have four subjects left at that time itself. General medicine, physiology, pharmacology, micro. These subjects were not done at that time. But still, I get yeah. a rank of 190. Uh, that actually uh, boosted my preparation. I understood that I have done my clinicals a little better. Uh, right. So uh, it actually uh, boosted my preparation. Then from November to March, uh, I dedicated for about 10 to 12 months every day, 10 to 12 hours every day uh, right. for uh, reading. Uh, and I used to sit in the library uh, because it was more effective for me. Uh, then right. So I divided my day into five sessions actually. Um, right. Starting from uh, after having breakfast and everything, I'll go to the library at 8.30. Uh, then first session from 8.30 to 11 or something. Then we'll have a tea break. Uh, then 2 to 2 o'clock. Then 2 to 3 is my lunch break actually. Uh, then okay. 3 to 6 is next schedule. Uh, after that, we'll have another tea break. Then 6 to 8.30. Then uh, 9 to 11.30. I always um, need a 7 hours sleep for me because it is very important. If I couldn't right. get enough sleep, the next day is actually ruined. So I never right. uh, compromised on my sleep. Um, right. Other time, uh, I dedicated completely for my studies. Actually. Amazing, this was my amazing. pattern. I divided the day into five sessions, actually. Right, right, right. So uh, that is it. And then how many revisions you completed before your NEET MDS? Uh, during initial days, we are giving uh, test series. Uh, so that time, the test series will not be so tight. It will be like uh, two subjects per month or three subjects per month. That right. time, I itself, I... Uh, so initially, we have enough time to revise subjects. So right. initial days, uh, that one subject or two subject, I read it three times before the exam itself. Then uh, when it comes to the final three, uh, three to four months, we are going to revise right. everything, the general pulse uh, completely. So that time I could do about four to five revisions. Some subjects like dental medicine, and uh, it was very volatile for me. So yes. uh, some subjects were given five times revision and some other subjects like the ADH and, uh, uh, and most of the clinical subjects, we can right. um, memorize many of the things. So right. some subjects are four times and difficult subjects will be given five revisions. Okay, okay. Right. So we can say that three to five revisions are a must if you are aiming for a government college or a good rank. Right. So three yes, to five yes. revisions are must. Okay. Yes. So uh, now talking about a mock test or, a, you know, grand test. So uh, like uh, you were giving those tests regularly and how was, you know, like how you used to manage the uh, results of it because there is a lot of fear inside so many students in giving gts and mock tests that what if i'll get less marks or what if you know i'm not prepared fully so i'm not giving the exam this is the biggest fear everyone have so uh what would you like to say about uh, the mock test and gts like what was your approach and uh, you used to analyze after your test score or something or wh what was your strategy there actually i think test series was the most important factor for me because instead of studying a lot of things, we have to do a test. After studying a topic, we have to take a test so that we can analyze ourselves. What else, uh, what have we done? Uh, what are things are memorized? Uh, everything can be analyzed to a test only. So test series was very important part for uh, my preparation. I used to give every test is very seriously. Uh, even though if I have not prepared so well also, I'll give the test series somehow uh, and analyze the paper. Actually, this uh, giving a lot of mock test, mock test only gives us that confidence to attempt the questions in final exam also. Final and exam. we are studying that uh, time management and how to active thinking. Actually, active thinking comes only when we give that test series. Otherwise, we are just passively reading all the questions and answers only. So I think test series, taking test series in any, if you have joined any course coaching institute, test series should be taken very seriously. Right. And... Uh, uh... Other than this, like, what do you think is your X factor? Like, what is a differentiator between you and the other thousands of students who have not got into, you know, top 100, top 200? So what, what is that differentiator factor you think? Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, from the initial days itself, uh, it was a conceptual based learning for me. Rather than doing a lot of MCQs and uh, just mugging up the questions, I always try to understand the concept. 
so this time the exam pattern was something like that. Uh, if right. you, there are not any questions were not familiar to us, not uh, done, no previous day questions, not done anywhere. So if you have right. the concept, you can somehow arrive at the questions by thinking, arrive at the answer right. by thinking. Uh, so that I, I have always, I have always kept on uh, doing that conceptual reading. Uh, so right. this time, since the neat MVS pattern was something like that, I think it has uh, helped me to. Ball was in time. your court, yeah. <laughs> we can say that ball yes. was in your court this time, right? Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, see, there's one more uh, question which, uh, you know, students keep on asking regarding notes that whether one should make their own notes or not, uh, whether it should be elaborated or it should be concised or so everyone has their different strategy of studying, obviously. So what was it look like for you? Like, did you make, uh, prepare your notes? And if you did, then how you prepared it? Uh, I had my lecture notes. Uh, after seeing all lectures, I prepared my lecture notes for all subjects. Then um, I think after first, second and third reading, third when it comes to third reading of tender pulse and things like that, uh, there is still some questions uh, I'm getting wrong and certain diseases, clinical features, some drug of choices, etc. Uh, I always forget even after completing my first reading, second reading and third reading. So during my third reading, I started keeping a small notebook for me uh, and written everything that uh, I used to forget. Uh, so okay. actually that notebook has helped me very uh, uh, helped me very much just before the uh, exam. Actually, right. two days before the exam, uh, subjects like general medicine, pharmacology, physiology, these were all difficult for me actually. And uh, I used a way to make it correlate, to correlate these subjects. So if I'm reading physiology, uh, cardiovascular system, then I'll do general medicine part of cardiovascular system along with it and pharmacology part. Actually, this has helped me to uh, do three subjects um, much uh, Simultaneously. better. So, yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, by system-wise approach has helped me to uh, correlate something. Uh, right. These subjects were actually difficult for me. Uh, and I have made a notebook for every 20 subjects in which uh, questions which uh, continuously I was forgetting and difficult questions. And this I revised this notebook two days before uh, exam. And I think there were questions from uh, my notebook also. Uh, wow. So, <laughs> that, give, gives, that gives some sort of confidence to us. That uh, we have done every subject, what all, right. uh, what all things we have marked difficult, we have just read it before the exam. Actually, that yes. uh, gives a, uh, at least it gives a confidence to us. Right, right, right. That was all... my notebook. No, uh, nothing extra. Right, right, right. And uh, what all books you referred, like as your reference book, like as you said, Dental Pulse. So other than Dental Pulse, uh, did you refer to any other MCQ books or textbooks? Dental Pulse was my basic book. Then uh, general medicine subject, like general medicine, I didn't uh, find it better. So I uh, used dentist actually, it was system wise and I felt it a little more, more organized. Uh, so general medicine was done from dentist and pharmacology was completely done from Sparshvukta. And for pharmacology, it was also a difficult subject for me. Actually, uh, in our institute, we had separate test series for pharmacology actually. And that okay. helped me to um, study better. Uh, right. Then pharmacology was done from Sparshvukta and general medicine from dentist and all other subject I think is from dental pulse only and anatomy I have done the textbook itself uh, and uh, ortho also some textbook reading has done. Okay, because this year I've heard that uh, there were so many uh, image based questions. Uh, one image based question was there from almost all the subjects. So do you think that referring to textbooks might help you with the concepts and with the image-based questions or it is covered in what is shared uh, by the academy notes and something like that? Yes, actually we have uh, an app uh, having uh, image-based questions for all subjects. Either right. uh, you can do it like that or else you hmm. should uh, refer to that standard textbook. For example, Perio and all, we have a lot of uh, figures in Carenza and all. Anatomy mm. also, we have a lot of figures. Uh, so right. if you're referring to uh, textbooks, it's also good. Uh, or else if you have a joined an uh, institute or something, they'll definitely have yes. image-based questions. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. So those who are referring to textbook, just keep in mind about the time that you don't overdo anything. Because when you are referring to a textbook for a particular subject, there is a lot to read, of course. So, you know, in that fear of you'll miss out something or something else. So don't overdo it. Rather, just quickly go through the images or the uh, figures quickly and uh, or either take a pictures and keep it as a separate folder in your phone so that you can refer it later on. So I think that was a very fruitful discussion, uh, Dr. Anushree. Now, uh, would you like to give any advice to those who are preparing for NEET MDS right now? And especially for those who are not satisfied with their ranks this year and thinking of taking a drop. 
So what advice you would like to give it to them? So if you have a dream, uh, if you are clear about the aim, just work hardly, sincerely and very hardly for that. You'll definitely get that. And um, for, for me, I'm coming from a private college, actually, very small private college only. Uh, but there might be a lot of negativity around us. Uh, people might be telling like, you will not be able to do that. You're coming from a private college. Uh, there'll be a lot of negative people talking uh, around you. Just don't hear any of them. Uh, if you have that dream inside you and you're ready to work for that, just go for it. You'll definitely reach there. So uh, I don't uh, uh, I don't think any of where you're coming from, that doesn't even matter. What you do in the coming eight to 10 months is definitely going to determine your dream. Definitely, uh, definitely. Um, so have faith in yourself. Like self-believe yes, yes. is something which is very crucial and important in this phase yes. where you are preparing for your exam. Right. Uh, our sir used to tell the same thing, have some faith in yourself. That uh, During the exam hall also, it was uh, in my head, have some faith in yourself. Faith in yourself. Uh, yeah. By marking, exam, marking your options also, you should have some faith in yourself. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Amazing. So it was a very positive and uh, informative session. Thank you so much, Dr. Anushri, for sharing this. And I'm sure that you will receive so many emails and message requests after this interview. Also, I would like to share Dr. Anushri's contact details in the description box below. And uh, you guys can also comment on this video and ask us if you have any doubts related to your NEET MTS preparation. So yes, with that, we would like to uh, take a leave and end this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.